Some 60 years ago, technology as we know it today was not thought of. Over the years, technology has increased tremendously. Every second, technology is improved to become better than what it is. These technological changes are affecting the way people act and behave. Changes that are being made are affecting humans both young and old across the world daily. A few facts about how technology has increased and changed the world are that 250 million TVs are in the United States and at least 2 million are in bathrooms. Newspaper circulation has decreased by 7 million since the past 25 years and online reading has increased by 30 million. Social sites such as Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and YouTube, which weren't around six years ago, receive at least 250 million visits monthly. Teenagers send approximately 2,272 text messages per month on a mobile device that wasn't created 60 years ago. By 2020, the mobile device will be the world's primary connection tool to the internet. Today, in our podcast, we'll hear from different individuals who share with us how technology has affected their personal lives and professional lives. And lastly, we'll give you our opinion on how technology has affected our lives. So I'm here with my grandmother, Sylvia Daniels, and uh, she's going to give me some of her opinions on how technology has changed her life and just changed in general. What advantages or disadvantages uh, do you see or do you think there are about uh, technology? Well, it it definitely makes the world smaller. (laughs) uh, And also... It provides entertainment that you can. And personally, I I like playing games, so <laughs> you know, I I enjoy it there. That's an advantage for me, <laughs> and uh, helps me keep up with the news and the weather. Okay. All right. Um, my final question for you is: uh, Do you agree that the internet has changed the way that people communicate? And what I mean by communicate is, uh. uh I guess before cell phones and internet, you had to either visit someone's house or call their home phone and help that they were there. Um, mm-hmm. So, do you do you agree that uh, so that that it's changed the way that we communicate? And if so, do you like the change, or would you uh, rather go back to the more personal way of uh, being face to face? Yeah, yeah, I think. There's pros and cons, but I think it's more beneficial than anything because uh, it it helps people to communicate easier mm-hmm. between your loved ones and shut-ins. They don't have to be isolated from the world. They they have more access to interact with other people. But yeah, I agree. It probably does hinder face-to-face mm-hmm. interaction, but. With the world being as busy as it is, I think it'd be more of a benefit than, than a hindrance. I know. I definitely think so. I don't get to visit you as much as I'd like, but I can always look you up on Facebook and see some mm-hmm. up-to-date pictures. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know many grandmothers that are on Facebook. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I definitely appreciate you um, sharing your opinions on technology, and we can end this interview now, and I will talk to you later, Grandma. Okay, yeah. Right. Thanks, thanks a lot. I enjoyed it. All right. Thank you, too. All right. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. We're here with my dad, Alan Lane, and he's been a pharmacist for about 28 years, and he's going to give us a little bit of his perspective on how technology has helped uh, him and his professional life. Um, If you would, Dad, could you tell us a little bit about uh, how technology was whenever you first started uh, as a pharmacist? Well, I graduated from pharmacy school from the University of Mississippi in uh, uh, 1983. And in 1983, uh, the the bulk of the work in pharmacy was done on paper and with typewriters. And so uh, that has evolved quite a bit uh, in the last um, 28 years. Uh, it was kind of uh, optional whether your drugstore or your hospital had a, a computer system. 
uh, that long ago. Uh, when I started with the hospital, um, we were, like I said, using typewriters and we would have to take the doctor's orders and we would uh, basically fill out some paper. Uh, today, basically, we get um, uh, we don't even get a piece of paper anymore in our in our hospital. Uh, the nurses will scan our drug orders to the pharmacy. Uh, it never gets printed. Uh, we have uh, the, each pharmacist is sitting at a at a computer with dual monitors. Uh, they have one monitor that um, we have the physician's order on, and the other monitor is the uh, uh, the HIS system or the uh, health information system that helps the pharmacy uh, do their work and prepare the drugs for the for the patient. So uh, another thing that it is that technology has done actually is uh, in pharmacy is just made communication a whole lot easier in between uh, physicians and pharmacists, whether it's in the retail world or the hospital world. So um, another real real big benefit that has come along with the use of computers in pharmacy is that you can have uh, uh, you can have a big database and you basically can can enter the drugs for a, a, a patient and that database can help you decide whether there are drug drug interactions or, and things like that. So that's a great big help too. Uh, you know when you've got uh, computers that are helping patient safety. Great, great. Well, can you maybe tell us a little bit about uh, where where you think the technology is is going and and whether or not you think that'll be beneficial uh, in your profession? All right. Well, I know that there is uh, great big pushes in the United States to go to a uh, electronic electronic medical record. Okay, okay? Uh, that is going to be very beneficial to patients and to physicians and healthcare providers in the long run, when everyone electronically will have a medical record that can be. Uh, uh, can be gotten to with that patient's permission from you know anywhere in the country yeah. and so when that happens if you happen to be in New York City and you have to go to the to the hospital for an emergency procedure of some sort uh, they'll be able to look up your medical record and uh, they'll know everything that the your local physicians would know if they wanted to search through the medical records so cool. uh, that's one of the things that uh, I've been involved with for the last uh, probably eight years is uh, the use of technology in in healthcare right. um, through uh, uh, working with our our computer systems and and such as that. We've got uh, quite a bit of technology at the hospital that uh, that I work for. Great. So great. Well, good deal. Well, thank you so much, and I uh, hope some uh, some of our Listeners, viewers, gets a lot out of that. Appreciate your time. You're welcome. It was great to hear from Mrs. Daniels on how technology has affected her personal life and Mr. Lang on how technology has affected his professional life. Here sitting with me is the rest of Team Gryffindor, and now I will get their perspective on how technology has affected their everyday life. Adrian, how has using a laptop helped you be a better student today? Well, being a student and a mother, I don't always get to the computer lab as often as I'd like. So uh, having a laptop makes it possible for me to study from home. And if I have more free time, I'm able to visit a coffee shop and uh, study from there. Thanks. Taylor, how has using a smartphone affected your daily routine? Uh, well, daily, I mean, I, I wake up to my smartphone. Um, I use it to check uh, sports scores. I use it to look up new words. Um, I use it for near about everything. Uh, it connects me to social media, and uh, I get my email on my smartphone. So I, I use it probably more than I use my laptop. Um, so daily, uh, it just helps me stay connected. Thanks. We're students in Dr. Strange's EDM 310 class at the University of South Alabama. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our blogs listed in the credits. See